Hello there. In this video, we will learn how to install Windows 11 on a very old computer. There are uh, old computers which can run Windows 10 and when you try to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11, it does not allow you to do that. Uh, usually there is a typical set of errors that you get to see on your typical Windows 10 machine, old machines. Uh, the most common errors that you get is either the PC must support secure boot and uh, sometimes the TPM 2.0 must be supported or enabled on your PC. So these are typical two uh, errors and I've checked this old PC from BIOS and settings and have tried to enable them but these settings are not available in this PC. Now I'm stuck so I cannot install Windows 11. This video will show what is the process. Let's move on. Step one, let's jump on to internet and download Windows 11. Simply search for download Windows 11, go to microsoft.com slash software download Windows 11. Uh, we need to download ISO file. There are different formats available. You could download an installer or you could find a media. We will download Windows 11 disk image ISO. We will select ISO and click download. After a second, it will ask you for the language that you want to download. So we will choose English. Confirm. And then the version that you get to see uh, 64-bit download. Click on this one and your download will start. While the setup will download and run but it will actually refuse to install because the computer is very old. Next thing we need to do is download similar ISO file for uh, Windows 10. To do that we need to search for Windows 10 media download tool something like that and it should take you to uh, disk image ISO file for Windows 10. How this works, you need to download this tool called Create Windows 10 Installation Media. Let's download this. This is a small tool that will download and install. It, you can use this tool to make a USB uh, or probably a CD or just download an ISO file. It is not a big tool so you can just download and run this. Please remember, we need both Windows 11 ISO image and we need Windows 10 ISO image. Okay, so here we are with the license agreement. We click on accept. So we're assuming that we have a Windows 10 running on an older computer and we are about to install Windows 11 on that. So do not upgrade this PC using this tool. Create an installation media USB flash drive or ISO. Click next. Now uh, use the recommended settings. I'd prefer English Windows 10 64 bit. Yes, that is good. Uh, it's usually a good idea to go for 64 bit version. Make sure that you are getting English United States. This is the same version that we downloaded for Windows 11. Get the Windows 10 and 64-bit. Next. And click on ISO file. Next. Once you do that, uh, we'll select downloads to get Windows. I'll rename this to Windows 10.ISO and save. After that, it's going to take, depending on the internet speed, it will start downloading the file. And once the downloading is complete, it will say it is done. I'll pause the video for a while and I'll get back once the download is complete. All right, so we have both windows downloaded here. You can see Windows 10.ISO and Windows 11 underscore English International X64 V1. These are the two images that we have right now. What we need now is a tool that can extract the ISO file. So you could have a 7-zip or you could have WinRAR. I have an RAR installed in the system. So I will first extract Windows 10. Right click, extract to Windows 10. So basically ISO file is a bunch of f files and folders which ex actually make the installation media. So you can see that it is creating a folder here called Windows 10 and all the files are being extracted. After this, we will do the same thing for the Windows 11. 
and we will extract Windows 11 to this Windows 11 folder. Once you have both images extracted, we will basically plug in the installation content from Windows 11 ISO into Windows 10. So we will skip the test. If we run the setup directly of Windows 11 right now, it will actually not allow us to install. So we run extraction into the folder. Now, so the first step was to download Windows 10 ISO and Windows 11 ISO. Second step was to extract them in separate folders. Step three, we go into Windows 10 sources and here you will find a large file which is called basically the largest file is install.esd so you go to install.esd and basically delete that the size of the install.esd for me is 3.63 gb we will ins delete install.esd from windows 10 slash sources folder now i go back to windows 11 folder go to s sources and here we will have another install file but it will not be esd it will be install dot wim file we copy this wim file from here and put this into the windows 10 sources paste let's paste it here All right, so we have install.wim placed in this folder. Now, this Windows 10 is your required installation medium. So I could literally delete everything else from this folder except the Windows 10 folder. Windows 10 has now my replaced install.wim file. In the Windows 10 folder now, I will run the setup. It will look like Windows 10 setup, but it will actually install windows 11 let's give it a shot i start the setup change windows setup download updates and tell it not to download the updates right now next accept license and i'll say well i don't want to keep anything if you want to keep your personal files up to you uh, next It will give you a warning, continuing with installation of Windows will change your display language to change it back. You will need to reinstall the language back. Okay, I'm just fine with that. You can see the Windows 10 setup is now ready to install Windows 11 Pro. And you, you want to keep nothing. Click on install and the installation process will start. It will still say installing Windows 10 but please note that this is actually going to install windows 11 so let's sit back and wait for the setup to complete I think the Windows has restarted the third time. This is all part of the setup. Alright, it took some time, but it is coming back to life, so we could probably start uh, customizing Windows, give the country, select the username, give the Wi Fi password, and all that. And once we're all done, we will have the Windows 11 up and running all right so finally here we are windows 11 has been installed it is working just fine you could customize it the way you want use it the way you want if your computer is very old obviously it's going to be slightly slow but i don't find it slower than windows 10 so good luck with your windows 11 usage hope you like this video